Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today I'm going to bring you hands-on science experiment for cycle two, week three, which is called see-through. So today we only have one experiment, um, but it'll take some preparation beforehand. So make sure you kind of take a look at that ahead of time and kind of decide, um, you know, if you want just one uh, model for the students to try, or if you want the students to have their own. Um, just kind of take a look at that. So this is coming from our Van Cleves guide, page six and number nine, see through. We're talking about Saturn and its rings and what we can discover about Saturn and its rings. And if you've ever seen a picture of Saturn, you'll see like it's got these beautiful rings and ask questions about Saturn. Um, is Saturn the only planet that has rings? Or why are Saturn's rings so bright? And what are Saturn's rings made out of? And so Nicole Liam has awesome graphics for this. It shows how Saturn's rings are made of rock and ice. And it's the ice that reflects the sunlight that makes the rings of Saturn show up so beautifully. And so, but you can kind of see some rings look dark and some are really bright. Like we can see through, we can see space through some of the rings and there's spaces between. So why do Saturn's rings look the way they do. So that's what our experiment is going to be about. So, you know, asking them what they know about Saturn already, kind of talk about some of those questions and ask some questions, you know, what do we still need to find out? Why does the, you know, okay, there's ice and there's rocks around Saturn. Are they orbiting around Saturn? We've already talked a little bit about satellites that orbit the Earth. So these rocks in this ice is orbiting around Saturn and it makes these beautiful rings. But why do we see them as rings if they're big chunks of ice and rocks? Why do they not look like little pieces? Why does it look like a solid ring? So what you'll need for this experiment is some poster board. And I found this, you can get the really big pieces of poster board or Dollar Tree had like this size already kind of broken up. There's four pieces. So I just took one of those and did it for this demonstration. So you'll need um, black marker and ruler and pencils. So if you want just, you know, one model to show your class or have them try just one pencil or you could have a pencil per student and you'll need uh, push pins or like tacks, something that doesn't have too long of a point we're going to use this to push into the eraser and scissors and a glue stick. So kind of decide ahead of time how many um, am I going to make. So you could make um, eight for your class. So you could fit quite a few on just one piece of poster board. So what I did, and it tells you in the Van Cleves, is you're going to measure, you know, draw out um, one inch by six inch strips of poster board. And we're using poster board because it's a little bit stiffer and it's going to hold up to the spinning that we're going to do better. So this is how I drew it out um, just to make drawing our lines across it easier. And you'll see in a minute. So just take your ruler and your marker and um, measure out three one inch by six inch strips. And then the Van Cleves guide says to mark we're going to draw um, black strips across them. So I've marked, you see, a half inch from the edge and one inch from the edge on both sides. And then we'll draw a line connecting those. So I've done it already, but I'll kind of show you what it looks like. So for me, it's easier just to have the strips kind of drawn together so that it doesn't, so that they're all even because you want the, the lines on your strips to be kind of even because they're going to make a ring when we spin it. So I, I connected the lines like that and you can make them thicker. So that's what I did with these. You could use a thicker marker. They make those really big Sharpies. Um, but, and then I cut them out. So if you have like a master's class or older class, you know, they could do some of this drawing and measuring and cutting themselves. And if you have the littles class, you might want to do a lot of this ahead of time. So you'll cut out the, the three strips and then you'll arrange them. And Van Cleef's guide says to kind of glue them. And I would probably use just a little bit of like a glue stick 
So you'll kind of arrange them in a pattern like that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on them real quick. So they'll stay. When I tried it without the glue, it moved around a lot more than I would like. So I'm going to try glue this time. And kind of just arrange them so that they're evenly spaced. Like that. And you've got your lines on the outside. Then you're gonna take your your tack, your thumbtack, and put push it through the middle. You'll have a parent or the tutor do this part. Push it through the center of your strips, and then poke your tack into the top of the eraser. And the increase guide says to leave it a little bit loose so it can kind of spin a little bit. Let's try this. Okay, so you've got your strips of paper on your pencil. Now you're going to take it between your hands and you're going to turn it between your hands. And you can see that our stripes, our lines that we drew on the strips make a ring. But you can still see, you can still see me through the rings. You can still see my hands through the rings. So even though it looks like we've got some solid lines, even though and it's spinning, you can still see things through it. And so I remember when we did this three years ago, this cycle three years ago, the kids just had a lot of fun. We had a younger class and they just had so much fun. Um, spinning them and just observing like whoa it's making a ring like kind of an optical illusion it's like our eyes can trick us sometimes so that's what's happening with Saturn these these particles of ice and rock they're spinning they're orbiting really fast around Saturn and from a distance from Earth we're pretty far away from Saturn but from a distance and with all this spinning it looks like there's just these solid rings with these spaces in between for Saturn's rings. So it's really interesting to observe and see how our eyes can do that and how spinning objects, that spinning ice and rock around Saturn uh, makes it look like a ring. So it's very cool. So with Nicole Liam, I love her descripts for science. So she's got just some really good information down here. And I've I mentioned a lot of it, you know, that it's the ice in the rings that reflects the light and makes them so bright. So there are other planets in our solar system that have rings, but they're harder to see. Um, but Saturn has a lot of ice and it really reflects and makes them super bright. And, um, you know, there are seven rings of Saturn. And so Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune have rings as well. And, you know, you can talk about if you've got an older class. We, we recently, not very long ago, had, you know, a space probe Cassini go to Saturn and really take a lot of pictures. And now we know a lot more about Saturn um, than we used to. So it might be fun, you know, definitely bring like a visual or bring a book from the library that shows pictures of Saturn. Um, there's some cool idea, you know, Saturn doesn't always face this angle when we look at it through a telescope. So sometimes the rings are you know, tilted different ways. So we see it from different angles, but it's really interesting. So have fun with that. And um, that is for week three, cycle two science experiment. I'll see you guys soon.